The most effective way to align for success is not to focus on what you want to achieve, but instead focus on who you want to become. I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, and it is, and this is one of the hardest points for me to learn, but once you uh, see this demonstration, maybe it'll make more sense for you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Medical Entrepreneur Podcast. Uh, my name is Dr. Adam Sewell, and today we're going to be talking about a really important lesson that took me a while to figure out, and when I did, it really helped me accelerate the level of success I had in my life. And so I wanted to share it with you and with the hopes that you can learn this lesson sooner than I did and you can be more successful. So the first thing we want to talk about is getting into alignment. Why should we align? What does that mean? Uh, you'll notice that throughout most of uh, an average person's life, they're somewhat distracted, especially nowadays, more than ever. People are thinking of different things. They're, they're focused on different uh, issues they have, maybe focused on uh, relationship issues, maybe focused on work issues, focused on you know uh, family uh, issues. You have all these things and their mind is all over the place and they're not totally focused. And something happens whenever you're able to focus all of your mind onto one project or one task, you're able to get it done so much easier. And one of the things that you can do is you can start to align yourself by, you know, aligning your viewpoints, et cetera, and looking at things in a different way that will lead you to success. And so the same way that we use lasers today, the power, the difference between what we have as a laser versus a flashlight is the difference of being aligned. So for example, if you look at an incandescent bulb here or maybe a flashlight here, uh, you'll see that it has light that goes everywhere in every which direction. If you look at a laser, a laser by definition is waves of coherent light uh, that go together uh, towards something. And it's the, the power of having all of that alignment in, in one single place and having one coherent focus that allows lasers to do so many more things than just normal light. So it's the same thing uh, with your own life and your own focus. So you'll find that success will be much easier, more fun, and less exhausting if you are in alignment or if you are totally in focus. So the most effective way to align for success is not to focus on what you want to achieve, but instead focus on who you want to become. And I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, and it is, and this is one of the hardest points for me to learn, but once you uh, see this demonstration, maybe it'll make more sense for you. So there's actually three layers of behavior change. And if you haven't had a chance yet, I highly recommend uh, that you uh, review uh, this amazing book. It is called Atomic Habits. Uh, basically, it is a book by James Clear, and it's an amazing book. It's a great story, definitely something to study for your success. Um, but basically, one of the major concepts in the book is that there are three layers of behavior change. The first layer that we all talk about is outcomes, which we see externally, like what happened? Were you successful? Were you not successful? Um, what, what actually occurred? Did you were able to uh, escape the mainstream healthcare system or did you not? Do you have a little side gig going on? Did you not? You know, those are the outcomes that we're looking at, right? The next layer beneath that are processes, which is how do you actually do those things? And then finally, the layer beneath that is the identity. And the secret that is discovered in that book and has been discovered by many other teachers throughout the past is that if you can change the deep down identity of who you are, then the processes will automatically change and your outcome will automatically change. And you'll find that the process will become much, much better. Um, there was a famous golfer named Vijay Singh, and he was uh, trying to beat Tiger Woods for many, many years. And he had been trying unsuccessfully for multiple years, always falling behind Tiger Woods until one day he said, look, I'm not going to focus on beating Tiger Woods anymore. I'm not going to focus on the outcome. I am just going to focus on me becoming the best golfer that I can be. And when he did that, he was able to overcome uh, Tiger Woods and actually uh, and basically beat him in a couple of different games. And that's the kind of level of focus that I'm talking about, because once you get your identity aligned and you actually focus on it, what you'll find is that everything else becomes much easier and more fun too. So just to kind of quickly review, the outcomes are the things that we're talking about, changing results, losing weight, growing your medical spa, publishing a book, whatever it is. Those are the things that you're looking for. The processes are the systems and habits. For example, you know, a new routine at the gym to lose weight or become stronger, uh, using the social media playbook, 
uh, that Medical Entrepreneur pr uh, provides you uh, to make social media for your practice and get more attention to, to your practice and what you're doing uh, using a cold outreach strategy for one of your businesses where maybe you send out emails or, you know, letters or something like this. And then finally, there's the identity, which is a deep level, which is the identity where we want to change. Those are where your beliefs are, your worldview, your self-image, and most of the assumptions and biases that people uh, believe about themselves are here as well. So if you believe, for example, I can't figure this out, then more commonly, you're going to have difficulty figuring it out. Uh, and so how most people try to grow is they, they focus on the outcome and say, hey, I want to have this outcome, just like Vijay Singh did. I want to be able to beat Tiger Woods. And he focused on the outcome. And because he was focused on that, he could never take the steps necessary or figure out all the steps necessary to do that. But instead, if you focus on your identity, on who do you have to be in order for you to get the outcome that you desire, and you focus upon that, what you'll find is that is the magic sauce that allows you to be so much more successful than everyone else. And the reason why is because ultimately it is your belief in yourself. It is your um, justification in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. And that's just a hard, true reality of life, you know. Uh, so it's really important that we understand that you have to be your first believer. So <laughs> if you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to jump in there and do it. So the area you want to focus on is right here in the identity. You want to focus on changing your identity and writing the identity of who you want to become in order for you to reach that outcome. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that here. And because basically from that identity, the identity will naturally hit the processes and the outcomes as well. So your goal is to not just read a book. Your goal is to become a reader. You see, if you just read one book, you know, you might have trouble doing that. But if you say, hey, look. I am a reader. I am someone who reads books. It might become easier for you to maybe read 10 pages a day because you're a reader. It's part of your identity. It's who you are. You'll find that there's a lot less resistance with that. The goal is not to become, uh, not to run a marathon, but the goal is to become a runner. And I know this from personal experience. The first time I tried to run a marathon, I tried to go and I said, well, how am I going to ever get to run 26 miles? You know, this time I was just, you know, barely running at all. And so how do you go from from you know, not doing anything, basically, to actually run a marathon? And the answer is, and the only system that I've ever seen being successful for that is, you just start literally a training schedule where you s simply start to run little by little bit, increasing the length of your runs each time until you can reach that long distance run of 26.2 miles. And so that's the, the secret is that you have to have the mindset that you are a runner because you're going to be running quite a bit in order for you to get to that length of running. So you have to have it ingrained with you. And a runner, for example, would be somebody who has their shoes set out in the morning because they always love to run in the morning. And so every night before they go to bed, they have their uh, workout outfit in their shoes and their headphones all ready to go. So as soon as they wake up, boom, they're out the door doing the run because that's who they are. And once it becomes part of your identity, now the processes naturally take place and the outcome will, will come true as well. So it all starts on the inside with the identity. The goal is not to learn Botox, but the goal is to become an aesthetic injector, right? So, you know, you're not going to just learn one skill set. Your goal is to become an aesthetic injector. So what aesthetic injectors do? They're always continuously learning. They're looking for new models. They're always, you know, reading up on the latest, um, you know, trends that are coming out. Uh, looking at the different products uh, that are being released by the companies. Now you're an aesthetic injector because you have the mindset of that. Not to say, hey, I'm going to go learn Botox. So let me just, you know, review this one thing. Um, so there's really two steps of um, two step process to change your identity. One is to decide the type of person you want to be based on the outcome of what you desire. So, for example, if you desire to become uh, to become very proficient at Botox and have your own med spa or maybe have your own mobile Botox uh, business, that would be awesome. Uh, then you need to decide and say, hey, I'm going to become an aesthetic injector. And part of that means that every week for you know two hours. I spend time just studying aesthetics. Maybe it's studying the anatomy. Maybe it's reviewing a course. Maybe it's, you know, watching uh, some of the videos we have on our YouTube channel <laughs> that, that show you how to do that. But that's part of your identity. And when you make it part of your identity, you'll find that everything flows so much easier. And the other step, which is equally important, if not more important, is to prove it to yourself. 
Because what happens to most people is they say, okay, I get the idea. I need to become the thing that I want to be. I need to become the person that's going to achieve the results I need to get. I got it, Adam, like totally, you know, like it's not a, a hard thing to grasp. But then they, they don't do anything with it. And the reason why is that you don't believe it initially. When you say it to yourself, I am a runner, just like when I was training for a marathon, I didn't believe it initially. And when I first woke up to do my first run, I sure didn't believe it then. And I sure didn't feel like running, but I knew I had to. And so I could prove it to myself with small wins. And by the time the marathon came around, I was a runner because I was running consistently every day. And on weekends, I did really long runs. So I'd literally become the thing that I thought I wanted to be. I, be, I changed my identity and that led to the, the growth in my life. So um, hopefully you guys can see kind of this is a, a two-step formula for success. And keep in mind, each small win is like a little vote towards who you're wanting to be. So every time you get a little win, even if it's small, even if it's simple, the consistency here is more important than the actual action. And that's kind of a really, really big point because a lot of people are hard on themselves or they set unrealistic expectations. They say, hey, I'm going to uh, become very muscular. So I'm going to go to the gym every single day and lift ultra heavy weights. Well, your body right now, maybe you don't do any workout. And when you go to the gym, you're going to be extremely sore on day two and you're not going to feel like going to the gym. And, you know, you may have to, it may take longer than you think. It may, you know, maybe other things. So it's better for you to take the identity as, hey, I'm a very muscular person that does weightlifting. And I'm going to start by, you know, doing weightlifting for five minutes every day. That's it. Just five minutes. That's all I'm going to do. And if you start with five minutes and make it consistent, it becomes so much easier to go from five to 10 to an hour, et cetera, versus saying, hey, I'm going to do it once. And then what happens is you burn yourself out and you don't do it anymore. And that's what usually happens to most people. And you can see this every year when New Year's comes around, right? Everybody has a New Year's resolution, but what happens, uh, you know, most of them don't, unfortunately don't come true because people will start some kind of action and then before you know it, they've, they've forgot about it or changed, you know, their focus to something else because they didn't absorb it into their identity. If you can put it into your identity, you can have it for you. So there's kind of two takeaway points here. One is the easiest way to win is to focus on who you need to become meaning your identity, and that is the easiest way to achieve your goal, not to focus on the goal themselves. That's one of those kind of mind warps, you know, counterintuitive things where you actually are not looking to achieve the goal, but looking instead to become the person who would achieve the goal. And if you can do that, you'll find it to be much, much easier to win. And finally, number two, the two-step process Number one, decide on who you need to become. And then two, prove it to yourself with small wins. Even if the win is ultra tiny, I went to the gym for five minutes and I walked out. That is still more successful than the person who never went to the gym at all. Isn't it true? And it's going to be so much easier for you if you get used to going to the gym for five minutes only, three days a week. It'd be so much easier for you to extend that to 10 minutes, to 15, to 30, et cetera, than the person who only goes once every three weeks because they don't make themselves do it. The reality is the person who goes so infrequently, it's not a habit pattern. So you're not going to keep doing it. So uh, keep those in mind that <laughs> change the identity first and then prove it to yourself with small wins, even small things. But just keep winning, keep winning little by little. And that is exactly what it takes to become. And remember that each small win is a little vote towards who you're going to be. So I hope this was helpful for you. And as always, as a medical entrepreneur, one vision, one purpose, freedom through prosperity.